Well, one qubit really is a true technology pioneer in that we are pioneering the new technology that's coming out of the quantum revolution. Uh, this is just the tip of the spear for all these new quantum technologies, but doing things in a lab is exciting. It gets really exciting when you can connect the results from the laboratory to problems out in the industry and out in the real world. What one qubit has done is really acted as a bridge between the technology at the fundamental level, the new hardware that's being produced, and the real world applications. And by acting as that bridge, we think we can help get that technology into industry faster. We can help generate more demand for that technology within industry, which then feeds back and helps the whole ecosystem grow. The exciting thing about quantum computing is it's the first real revolution in computing. There's been a lot of very exciting incremental changes that have happened since the advent of the first computers. Some of them have been spectacular, but they've all really been based on the same underlying fundamental zero and one technology that ran the very first computers that exist. A lot of the troubles that people are facing with large problems in industries such as finance and even biology really involve the types of combinatorial optimization problems that should be easily addressed by new generations of quantum computing hardware. And what one qubit's doing is trying to develop the methods necessary in order to connect this new hardware to these old problems. The sorts of things that we've been looking at involve different ways in order to deal with large portfolios for financial institutions, to be able to look at some of the things happening in the cutting edge of drug discovery and research in biology, uh, being able to compare small molecules and in the future even looking at comparing structures like DNA. These problems are very mathematically challenging and they tax the largest supercomputers that will ever be built to their limits. What we're trying to do is to provide methods and software that take the new quantum hardware and connect it to these problems in a way that can deliver results that just are unlikely to ever be possible with classical machines.